Epstein-Barr virus is the one of the most common human viruses, most people get infected with Epstein-Barr virus at some point in their lives. Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, also known as human herpes virus 4. EBV spreads most commonly through bodily fluids, primarily saliva. Most commonly spread by kissing. EBV can cause infectious mononucleosis, also called mono, and other illnesses. It is common among teenagers and young adults, especially college students. Not all who will be infected with Epstein-Barr develop infectious mononucleosis. But, at least one out of four teenagers and young adults who get infected with EBV will develop infectious mononucleosis. Infectious mononucleosis symptoms include Extreme fatigue, fever, sore throat, head and body aches, swollen lymph nodes in the neck and armpits. Swollen liver, or spleen. Or both of them can be enlarged. And rash on the skin. Enlarged spleen and a swollen liver are less common symptoms, but it can last more period of time, even other symptoms go and. Diagnosis. Commonly diagnosis is based on clinical picture and laboratory-specific tests are not needed. In blood, white blood cells number can be increased called lymphocytes. Unusual looking white blood cells, atypical lymphocytes. Fewer than normal neutrophils neutropenia. Or low platelets. Abnormal liver function. Typical symptoms of infectious mononucleosis usually appear four to six weeks after you get infected with EBV. Symptoms may develop slowly and may not all occur at the same time. Most people get better in two to four weeks, however, some people may feel fatigued for several more weeks. Occasionally, the symptoms of infectious mononucleosis can last for six months or longer. There is no vaccine to protect against infectious mononucleosis. You can help protect yourself by not kissing or sharing drinks, food, or personal items, like toothbrushes, with people who have infectious mononucleosis. Treatment is supportive, drinking fluids to stay hydrated, getting plenty of rest, non-steroidals for pain relief. People with infectious mononucleosis should not take penicillin antibiotics like ampicillin or amoxicillin. Because your spleen may become enlarged as a result of infectious mononucleosis, patients should avoid contact sports until fully recover. Participating in contact sports can be strenuous and may cause the spleen to rupture. 